Hey everybody, this is Paul Leo Jr. And I wanted to show you guys an excellent free program for Microsoft Windows and also for uh, any Mac computer that allows you to record uh, anything you're doing on your screen. This is a fantastic app. It's a uh, program. It's extremely easy to use and it's completely free, which is fantastic. <coughs> now, uh, what you, this is called Ice Cream Screen Recorder. And if you see up here, this is the website that you're going to visit to download uh, the screen recorder. So just go here, icecreamapps.com slash screen dash recorder. And obviously you're just going to go to free download. And from there, you're just going to follow the prompts here. It should start downloading, I believe. Let's see, download version for Windows. Okay, so it's already doing it. And just let that guy go. And for right now, I'm going to go back to the main page here. And I'm going to show you the biggest difference, the biggest differences between the free version and the uh, the, up, the pro version. So the now the biggest, biggest difference between, uh, let me move this over here. So I, I'm actually using uh, the ice cream screen recorder at the moment. So I'm, you, this is another cool thing you can do is have the um, you have your webcam running as well and it actually runs very fluently too so I'm just going to pull this uh, to the side for a second here okay so I just have the screen the uh, the free version so obviously you know as it says right here uh, your time limit is 10 minutes which is fine which is excellent if that's all you if you only need 10 minutes at the max and you can only output to WEBM, which is absolutely fine because that even plays in Windows Media Player, it plays in Zoom Player, VLC, and you can upload it directly to YouTube from here. And the codec stays the same, BP8, which is absolutely fine because it still records in HD, which is fantastic. So obviously, uh, with the upgraded version, there's no limits on your uh, recording time. You can change the output, you can change the video codec. Um, you can do scheduled screen recording and watermarks and um, I would say that's really the, the biggest things are the first three is uh, you really would want um, you know no limit on your recording time but um, we're, we're gonna go over the free version um, I'm gonna do a very simple tutorial on it so I'm actually gonna switch um, my screen recorder for the moment uh, so I can uh, bring you inside of a uh, ice cream screen recorder. So like I said, just download it and then just follow the prompts to install and the rest is history. So let's uh, let me get out of here, switch programs and we'll get into ice cream screen recorder. Okay, now that we're at the desktop, uh, should have created an icon here. So we're gonna open up ice cream screen recorder. And this is the main screen you're gonna um, enter so like I said this is an ex extremely simple screen recorder and has a couple cool options so we're gonna go with the simple one first so what we're gonna do first is check out screenshot which is pretty self-explanatory it takes a screenshot of whatever's displayed or whatever you know whatever's displayed on the monitor um, and you can use a you can do the whole screen you can do a custom area and I'll show you some cool things with that so I'm actually just gonna open up a picture I have here and we're gonna do a screenshot of a custom area and so you can do this obviously if you're in a web browser and you want to grab a picture real quick and we'll do that and now what's really cool is we have this little task bar down here and we can actually uh, draw over it if we so desire as far as either doing something like that and let's undo that change your colors we can also add uh, I believe yes you can add some text in here if I'm doing it right <laughs> there we go adding text uh, maybe I have to highlight it change the font size all that good stuff has some really really cool features here you can use the eraser button and that'll actually just erase what we just did in the drawing scheme. And then you can place dots like that around there, or numbers like that around there. 
So I'm going to do, I'm going to undo all these guys. And the the awesome thing about this is that so you can also copy directly, and then all you have to do is hit Control V and something like Paint, and it'll show you. Uh, well, it's saved in the clipboard. So once you hit, uh, once you copy, once you paste into whatever you're using, something like Paint, uh, this exact picture will come up. And you can also share this with your friends directly through the uh, ice cream. Uh, sandwiches uh, website so I hit URL down there I, I said ice cream sandwich I'm sorry ice cream screen recorder we click this link right here and it's gonna bring me to their website where I can actually share this uh, uh, image that I just captured and I could just use that URL and share it with whoever I want so share your screenshot and then I can choose so let's say I want to do Twitter and then I do log in and tweet. And then from there, view on Twitter. And it should give me, let's see here. So if I just, if somebody clicks on that off my page, it'll go directly to that picture, which is actually a really, really, really cool feature of this. So I'm gonna close this out. And what I'm gonna do is, Close out of here. Now this is now this is not saved on the computer. This is saved on their website. But if you do the screenshot, and I'll do a full screen screenshot, and I'll just do. Uh, and this is another cool thing: is you click on the little webcam picture there, and then this will be included in your uh, screenshot as well. So if I just hit screenshot instead of URL, it should. I'm just gonna. You can do a custom name here. Okay, and. Let's close this out and let's open this the one I just did and you'll see that it has my entire desktop with the webcam that I just added and now I'm gonna delete this delete this and then once you delete it I believe I believe that link uh, disappears uh, from uh, the uh, ice cream screen recorder website so now we want to go before we even start doing any recording at all we always want to check out settings and pretty much you're gonna leave everything at uh, its defaults I have this check for updates automatically uh, area selection zoomer uh, has my webcam uh, tells me where I can save my um, my video to or my screenshot to I can leave now what I do for my max file size, I leave it 99999 all the way, just so I don't have a limit there. <laughs> and then I just leave the minimum one alone. And then we go to video, and like we saw on the web page, you can only, with the free version, you can only use WebM VP8 uh, without going to Pro. Uh, video quality is high, which is excellent. It will record in HD. Uh, I like to record the mouse movements, uh, animate mouse clicks, highlight mouse, all that's great. I leave disable screen saver unchecked, and then show countdown, that's what it shows before you actually start recording. And then the watermark is another thing you can't use uh, unless you were to uh, activate the pro version. Uh, and that would basically have like some lettering or a picture, something like, I think lettering somewhere on the uh, on your video. Now we go to audio, and it has my micro my microphone device. This is my main one right here, and then my speaker device is complete. Is that's all completely fine? It should automatically do it. And if you need to change anything, uh, just do. You can open up your mixer. I'm gonna do that, and then I see which one's my default one, which is my um, my USB microphone. And then you can also play around with the hotkeys here. So if you wanted to, uh, if you want to keep them as their, their defaults, that's fine. But I also I like uh, having. So like say you were using you were using this program and you wanted to zoom in on something. That's probably the biggest thing. Is you would hit F10, it would zoom into you know a part of the screen somewhere. Uh, but the biggest things you just want to be aware of are uh, F1 and F2. Uh, and that's record Paul record slash pause and stop so all right let's get into it here so I'm gonna go right into uh, capture video I'm gonna do full screen and you're seeing exactly how this would show up <clears throat> I'm gonna add uh, my webcam in it 
and I believe this is the small size I can make it, which is fine. And there's a there's a hotkey to also take that off immediately without going back into this toolbar, but I'm just gonna leave it up for the time being. So let's hit record. It's gonna give me a countdown here. I'll hit okay. And so three, two, one. Okay. And so now, like I said, you if you remember all the hotkeys, then go forward and use them. But if not, you can just go here. I'm going to uncheck the uh, the webcam, and I could also disable the microphone and so forth. And now I can actually uh, do what we did in the screenshot version, where I can start drawing things. I can uh, add text to something, whatever it is, and uh, any other additional features they have here. So uh, let's see here. I'll hit zoom on that. Okay. And then in the actual recording of the ice cream screenshot, it will actually tell you, um, it'll actually show you that you're actually zooming, but it's not going to do it for you. It's not going to do it while you're on the screen, so it doesn't mess you up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear all here. I cleared everything I just did, but we're still uh, recording uh, my, entire, uh, my entire desktop for the time being. And I'm going to stop this video and I'll just name it test, I'll hit OK, and then now it's on my desktop, uh, WEBM. So when I click on it, let's see, let me close this out real quick. So when I click on test.wbm, it actually does open in, so now, like I said, um, in Windows time. Media Player, it plays absolutely fine. And I also use a uh, Zoom player, which is another fantastic video player, and it works on that perfectly fine. Okay. So let's go to that. And start drawing things. Yep. So that's all good. The file size, or the file sizes, are actually pretty decent. They're pretty, they're relatively small for um, recording in HD, which is fantastic. <laughs> and you also have a direct. Uh, thing to YouTube here where you upload it directly to YouTube so you click up, upload to YouTube you would type in your email address and your password and it would upload it uh, directly to YouTube so for right now I'm going to uh, delete this and that's really it for capturing the video like I said you can do different um, you can choose different ways in which you want to uh, you know sizes in which you want to record on the screen so um, I always I either do custom or full screen. I don't really mess around with the other ones. And then uh, tasks is another cool thing where you can hit you hit the plus, and then I'll do full screen. Uh, I'll hit record here, and then it shows me the actual time in which um, I want my screen recorder to start recording. So right now, uh, so it is so this is January. This is the uh, day, this is the month, and this is the year, obviously, and then 22 would be 10 o'clock, and then this is, so that's the first, and then this would be, that's the hours, that's the minutes, so it's 1027, so I would say 1028, I would close that out, and then I would click save, I'm not going to, but once I hit save, it'll actually start recording my screen at that specific time, which is pretty cool. Uh, other than that, uh, that's really all you need to know. It's an extremely simple program to use. It records in HD. You can upload directly to YouTube. You can record uh, screenshots as well. And I believe that's everything I need to go into. It catches your mouse movement. You can zoom in while you're um, <clears throat> while you're recording as well. But this is as f even though the the time limit is ten minutes. If if you really don't want to pay for this program you can actually get, um, if you don't want to pay for you know more than 10 minutes, that's perfectly fine. There's really nothing. <clears throat> if, if you can get what you need in that time slot, you are, you are great. You are perfect. There is, uh, um, like I said, it records in such a high quality that if you can stay within that a lot of time, there's, there's no other screen recorder you're going to need. It'll, you're able to edit these videos in, I think at least in the majority of any video editing software as well. 
and that's really it. But if you did, if you wanted something that was unlimited uh, time recording or screen recording, um, then yeah, upgrade to Pro. It's really not that expensive, <laughs> and then you can record as long as you want. But like I said, if you if you can keep it under ten minutes, the free version is perfectly fine. I uh, hope you guys found this video useful. Uh, I always like finding out new uh, new programs that are available for people to use. And this one is excellent since it is available on the two major platforms, which is uh, Windows and, uh, and the Macs. And that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Please subscribe, like, comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you've used Ice Cream Screen Recorder. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.